Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am so excited about today because I am going to be creating my very first business card as an author. Up until now, I haven't really had a need for a business card, but I have been going out a lot and meeting a lot of people. And the other day, someone actually asked me for a business card because they had a connection to a publisher and I did not have a business card to hand them. And that is not the very first time someone's asked me for a business card. Now that I've been meeting a lot of people, I think it is time for me to just take that next step in my career. So if you are interested in seeing how I create my business card, what I include, what I don't include, then stick around because this video is for you. Okay guys, so the first thing I did is I went on to Canva and I searched for author business cards to see if there were any templates specifically for authors, but um, I mean, they basically all look the same. So I don't think really you have to type author. You could just look for business cards and just pick the one that you want. I don't necessarily want anything too flashy or that has too many things on it or that it's too busy. And I don't want one that has pictures on it because I don't have a photo that I can pick right now. And I don't want to have to wait until I have a photo shoot and then have to insert the picture in that way. So I think I'm just gonna pick like whatever one and customize it to my needs from there. So right now I'm thinking it's either this one or this one. And I think I like this one. So I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to customize this template. So off the bat, I know that I'm not going to need that or that. I'm going to add my name, change this to author. Author, oops, goodness, it changed. It was italicized, so we're gonna do that. So that's going to be the first, the front for now. One thing I do wanna do and add here is I want to add a QR code. So I'm going to add my website. So I already have it ready to go. So I'm going to paste it here and have it generate the QR code for me. Then we're gonna move on to this next page, which is probably gonna be the front or the back. I don't know, I don't know which one is which, but either way, it <laughs> doesn't matter because I'm going to, this is probably the back of the card. I don't know, either way, it doesn't matter. You guys get the gist. I will be adding my phone number, but I'm just not going to include it obviously in this video because I don't need my phone number out in the world. I just only certain people that I know that will ask for my card will have access to my phone number. So I'm adding my email address. I won't include my regular home address because that's also not necessary, but I will be adding my website like so. And then on here, let me see, do I want to add, let's raise this up a little bit. Yeah, perfect, like that. And do I want to add my website here? Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to move this here. So this will have my website. So I'm going to copy this and then here, I'm gonna say my website like so. I'm going to minimize it a little bit, adjust it a little bit, and then where'd it go? put it over here so that they know what it is. 
I'm also going to add some grid lines so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Add guides, yeah. So that way it looks good. Bring this down a little. As far as I'm concerned, this looks pretty good. So now let's go here. And then on this one, I'm going to do my books. So I'm going to copy this page, this link. And then I'm going to ask for a new code. Oh no, see, it's got the wrong thing. This one, copy, paste, and put it there. Let's see where, as far as the lines are, maybe if I could just get closer, that way I can There you go. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I am just going to adjust it a little bit. I am going to say these are my books. Adjust it. Like so. And put it here, but I got to make it smaller and make it match the other one. I think that looks good. And now I'm going to start just adding my social media. And I want to use this, so I'm just going to copy like so, bring it up here. And let me just see where this is. Okay, so it's here. I am going to probably use this line as a marker. So I'm going to say author. Mari Suggs, and then I'm going to copy this, put it right under it. Ma that matches because my TikTok, that's Instagram, that's TikTok. This is going to be Facebook, and that one's um, a little different. So, Mari Suggs fans, I need to really use Facebook more. I just don't, but I really want to start. I feel like a lot of my audience is going to be there now. So, and then YouTube. So YouTube is just Mari Suggs. So now I want to add the icon. So I'm going to go here and these are some of the ones that I've used before. So they're right there. Ah, okay. Let's move it here like that, Facebook, and you can just play or if you're going to do this too, you could just, you know, obviously design it any way you want to, add all the things that you want to add, leave out the things, you don't have to do it exactly like me. You might want to make it more flashy, shiny, busier, whatever you want to do, it's your card. You're the one who's going to be giving it, and you know the information that needs to be there. So just make sure it fits your, your needs. So the last thing we're going to do is this one. And the more I look at the color, the more I'm thinking I want it to be a little brighter so that it doesn't just get lost in the shuffle in someone's wallet. I think if I, even though I love beige, when it comes to market my branding, I like different colors. So I am going to to pink because that is the color that I gravitate to. And let's see, let's change this. Let's clear that to see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Let's change this one. I mean, it looks pretty good. I think if this is in someone's wallet, I think they're gonna remember exactly who gave them the pink card. So I think it serves its purpose. So the net, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these QR codes work properly before I send it off to the printer. And I'm going to change my number. And I'm also going to have my husband um, proofread everything, make sure that I haven't missed anything because I'm notorious for 
typos and just missing things. So we're gonna just give it a once over before I send it to the printer. Well, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you watch this one next.